ओके थेरी ऑफ प्लेन ट्रांसमिशन ग्रेटिंग एक्स वाई इज द प्लेन ट्रांसमिशन ग्रेटिंग हैविंग नंबर ऑफ स्लिट्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ एक्सेट्रा विड्थ ऑफ द ईच स्लिट इज ए बी सी डी एक्सेट्रा आर द अपैक ऑफ द ग्रेटिंग and width of the each apac is b l is the achromatic convexing lens mn is the screen placed at the principal focus of the converging lens l so this grating lens and screen are placed perpendicular to plane of the paper or perpendicular to plane of the board or ground so light from the source incident on the grating so illi xy antakkantadu plane transmission grating idralli number of slits idave multiple slits idave a b c d e f etc ivella slits onnond slit tu vidthanna a small letter a anta thagondidivi adhe rithi ond grating alli b c d e etc ivellu opac aagtave onnond opac tu vidthanna small letter b anta thagondidivi नेक्स्ट एल अक्रोमेटिक कॉन्वर्जिंग एमएन अंतर स्क्रीन इन आउंड मेले अथवा प्लेन आफ द पेपर के पर्पेडिकुलर अरेज मे सोर्स बंद प्यारल बीम अट और प्लेन वे फ्रंट इज इनिडेंट आ डिफ्राशन ग्रेटिंग एक्स वाय देच स्ली प्राइमरी वे फ्रंट अकॉर्ंग टू दईसन प्रिंसिपल Every point on the primary wave front is the source of secondary disturbance. Hence, there is a secondary waves are generated from each slit. One on the slit in the bandar ta kanta secondary waves move parallel to each other or move in the same direction as that of the incident light. Yau direction ala light incident ta kato grating mele. Adi one to direction ala secondary waves kul parallel ag buat ta ida ve. And incident on the lens. After refraction, all the rays are come to focus at the point P on the screen. Now intensity at the point P on the screen is depends upon the path difference. Here the secondary waves are same as the direction of incident light means path difference is zero. Path difference zero means there must be a constructive interference takes place. Hence the intensity at the point P is maximum. So this. maximum bright band is called a central bright band or central maximum or the primary maximum or the principal maximum or the karitivi next to the light secondary waves from the each ends of the slit or extreme ends of the each slit gets deviated or bending at an angle theta with the direction of incident light ಈ ಗ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ನ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸ್ಲಿಟ್ ನ ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ ಹತ್ರ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಥೀಟಾ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಮಧ್ಯ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಥೀಟಾ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೊಟೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ parallel to the secondary waves ee ondu lens nu saitha rotate madbeku estu rotate madbeku andre ee ondu lens na principal axis matto secondary waves ku ond kond parallel iro tara aa ondu lens nu saitha no rotate madtivi aaga lens mel bandirthakkanta secondary waves galinda refraction aagi all the waves or rays are come to focus at the point p1 on the screen intensity at the point p1 on the screen is depends upon the path difference that's why the line an is drawn perpendicular to this ray deviated ray hagadre this c to n represents the path difference delta and width of the slit ab equal to small a and bc equal to small b and theta is the angle of deviation or angle of diffraction of the secondary waves now in the triangle right angle triangle acn sin theta equal to opposite side is cn and hypotenuse side is the ac and cn is nothing but the path reference delta divided by ac is nothing but the ab plus 
BC, then sin theta equal to delta divided by AB is the width of the slit A and BC is the width of the opac B. Therefore, sin theta equal to delta divided by A plus B. Then take the cross multiplication, we get delta equal to A plus B into sin theta. This is the path difference of the second geometrical path difference between the secondary waves originate from the extreme ends of the each extreme ends of the slit, each slit. If the path difference between the secondary waves is an integral multiple of wavelength lambda, that is delta equal to n lambda, there must be a constructive interference takes place. That's why n equal to 1 gives the another bright band. At the point P1, the bright band is produced. At the point P1, bright band is produced. So, so this bright band is called primary maximum, first order maximum. So, if n equal to 1, that is called first order principal maximum, n equal to 2 is the second order principal maximum, n equal to 3 is the third order principal maximum, here the number of bright bands will produce at the on either side of the central band. This is the central band, the height of the peak, other side only, the other side only, P1, P2, P3, P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, and the kanta, matte bright bands will produce at the way, this is the first order principal maximum, this is the second order principal maximum, other is the third order principal maximum, also the produce at the way, on either side of this bright band, due to diffraction. If the light consists of more than one wavelength, or different wavelengths are combined in this, Light, then light gets spreads or splits. Even though light only incident I get that, that light only number of wavelengths could mix that get open that right. A light spread that get that. Aga angles of diffraction are different for the different wavelengths. Second right, theta n is the angle of diffraction for the nth order principal maximum. Theta n is the angle of diffraction for the nth order principal maximum. If are different wavelengths are combined, incident light in which two wavelengths are combined, one is lambda and another one is lambda plus d lambda, correspondingly the angles of diffraction becomes theta and theta plus d theta. For the first order maximum, that uh, equation becomes lambda is equal to a plus b into sin theta n equal to 1 for the first order principal maxima this corresponding wavelength ke, lambda equal to a plus b into sin theta and another wavelength to hai, lambda plus d lambda is equal to a plus b into sin theta plus d theta is the equation for neighboring wavelength angle of diffraction for the neighboring wavelength lambda plus d lambda so, this is the diffraction pattern produced. That is the grating of composite light. Sorry, even the monochromatic light is passed. That is the composite light. That is the white light. That is the central band is bright. Central band is bright. On either side of the central band, number of principal maxima are produced. Number of different colors are produced in the order of Vib Gaya. Central band na surrounding ali the central band na the thorn ra. Ado pagdali ba the violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red na the kanta. Even the different colors gala colors kulo produce ay gita ba? On either side of this central bright band. Tiri ti awon the diffraction pattern na produce ay gita. Even the grating ali light to incident a da ga. Single slit in da only one central band to produce ay gita. Other it is double slit in the Rosetta, only one principal maximum produce agate, other even the greeting and use Manadaga, one the central bright band at the Jataka the Kara the surrounding only number of principal maxima will produce at the way. So either now experimental use at the no Manadaga, spectrometer and use Marti, spectrometer no di the Ranu, a spectrometer and only even the greeting and use Manadaga, now direct take a telescope and now on the greeting you focus Marti and the central bright band can at the. टेलिस्कोप पर ना लेफ्ट साइड का मूव मार दिया है, वन स्पेक्ट्रम का नाते, मतलब इन्हों सब मूव मार दिया है, मतलब स्पेक्ट्रम का नाते, आधर इतनी आवं दो मिडल रीजन इन द राइट साइड की उसे तो मूव मारता होता है, नंबर ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम गुड कांड तय रहता है, प्रिज़म इन द ओनली वन स्पेक्ट्रम मात्र प्रोड्यूस आ 
ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ವೈಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಇದು ಥೇರಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ